In this lesson, we'll talk about how to configure one of the redundancy protocols HSRP in Packet Tracer. HSRP is a Cisco specific network redundancy protocol. You can only use HSRP in Cisco devices. For our HSRP configuration example, we'll use the topology on the screen and as you can see, the IP configurations has already done. In our HSRP configuration, we'll configure a virtual IP for router 0 and router 1. As you can see, they have already uh, physical addresses uh, and uh, beside this, uh, they will uh, configure it with an virtual uh, IP addresses. And one of uh, these routers will be selected as active and the other uh, will be selected as uh, standby. And uh, the traffic from uh, PC0 to PC2 uh, will go through the active one. And if the link be uh, between uh, this uh, active part uh, down, and then the traffic will go through the uh, standby. And uh, here, uh, the active and standby uh, selection is uh, made uh, according to the priority values. And uh, in our configuration, uh, we will manipulate uh, these uh, priority values. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, now uh, we can start our uh, HSRP configuration on router 0. As you can see, the uh, standby selection will select uh, standby 1 first. This is our uh, standby IP address, the virtual IP address. And uh, our priority, the default one is uh, 100, and here we can uh, select 150 as priority. And the preemption. We need this. Uh, preemption uh, because uh, of uh, after the failure uh, when the standby uh, become active and uh, then uh, again the uh, link become uh, online again then if the print option is selected like this then uh, it can be uh, active again Yes, let's uh, do the uh, other uh, parts of uh, the HSR configuration on router 1. Yes, uh, we cannot uh, give any priority, then uh, it is uh, remain as uh, default to 100. Yes. Here uh, we also need to uh, give uh, a, a gateway IP address to the PC. And this gate the IP address will be the uh, IP address of uh, the HSRP, the virtual IP address. Yes. And now uh, let's also uh, configure the other uh, redundancy mechanism uh, from right to left, from PC2 to PC0. And our standby is 2 now. And our virtual IP address again. And permission. And now uh, for uh, the other uh, ends, uh, I will uh, left uh, here with uh, the default. Uh, Right value, value and uh, it is uh, 100.
and here I will manipulate uh, the priority value and this time uh, this will be the active uh, one uh, for the first configuration uh, the active uh, one uh, will be he here the router 0 and uh, for the other end the active one will be router 1 Yes, we will also uh, give the PC uh, the uh, address of uh, the virtual hypothesis a gateway. Yes, it's okay. Now let's verify our uh, configuration. As you can see, uh, the ping is successful from uh, PC0 to PC2 and we can uh, trace from here uh, to the other end again. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, our uh, way is uh, going through the router 0 firstly uh, it's going router 0 and then going to the PC 2 uh, this is our host as you can see uh, 10002 is the uh, interface IP address of uh, the router 0 and uh, this IP address is also uh, for PC 2 and uh, let's do this uh, from the other end first let's ping our PC as you can see it is pinging and so here uh, as you can see our uh, traffic is uh, going first to router 0 and then uh, RPC zero. Uh, according to our uh, configuration, uh, our uh, traffic must be go through uh, router one. But uh, this uh, trace uh, is uh, showing that it's going through router zero. After a little in investigation period, uh, I realized that. Uh, we cannot change the priority value in a uh, packet tracer. Uh, I think it is uh, missing in uh, packet tracer because, as you can see, our uh, configured priority values is not set here. Because, as you remember, uh, I gave uh, this uh, priority as 150, and here it was default. And we can also check uh, here uh, our uh, priority value is. Uh, 100 and the other is also 100 uh, they are all in default values and uh, as you remember I gave one of them uh, firstly 120 and then I changed it uh, to 150 so uh, it uh, didn't accept this uh, configuration and after the reload of this two router uh, the active one uh, become uh, standby and the other uh, standby become active again and let's uh, check this also here as you can see uh, from pc0 if uh, i think uh, pc2 firstly i'm going through the router one and then uh, going to the pc2 uh, so this is the uh, active way and we can also uh, check from here as you can see on router one uh, the best ethernet uh, zero is uh, active one and uh, here is active and uh, the router zeros uh, at zero zero is now in standby mode so the traffic is coming here and go through here and uh, for the uh, left side 
as you can see. Selenet zero uh, one is standby, and for uh, router uh, zero, Selenet zero one is active. So from PC two, if I ping uh, PC zero, the traffic will come through here. Let's try one more time. As you can see, traffic is coming here. Twenty zero zero two, and then going through. Uh, PC0 and uh, here uh, let's uh, delete uh, one of the uh, link here the uh, link between the switch and the router one and then uh, for the first group uh, the uh, active router uh, router one will be uh, standby anymore and the uh, active one uh, will be router zero this uh, active standby will change so let's uh, try this and as you can uh, see there are some HSRP state changes here and also here it says that facetanet 00 is now active and uh, also the down uh, alarm came to here and uh, our traffic will be go through this way and uh, let's check this uh, from uh, PC0 and now as you can see before our traffic was going through the router 1 but now it's going through router 0 so our uh, redundancy configuration is ok now uh, you can also uh, check another uh, interface status and according to this status you can decrease your uh, priority value uh, your uh, priority value can decrease uh, 10 by 10 by this way I will not configure a uh, track here but I will show uh, how to do it Starting by as you can see, uh, there's a track here, and you will give uh, the interface address here uh, that you want to uh, control. And if that interface go down, then your uh, priority will uh, decrease. And according to this uh, status, your uh, standby, uh, your uh, active router can be standby like this. Uh, this is for. Uh, only checking uh, another uh, interface. In this HSRP example, uh, we tried to configure uh, two HSRP group, uh, group one and group two, and according to this group, uh, we uh, create a virtual IP address for each group, and uh, traffic from uh, PC0 to uh, PC2 uh, go through the active one, uh, according to this HSRP configuration. And uh, again, uh, from PC2 to, to PC0, uh, the traffic go through the uh, another way, uh, through the another active one. And uh, for this video, it's okay. And in the following videos, we'll see the London protocols more.